and welcome to Media Pool. I'm Chen Jin. Today I'm going to introduce what is cinematography and how to read it. You might be familiar with some terms such like medium shot, zoom, high angle shot, but do you know they all belong to cinematography? According to Belton, cinematography might not be so noticeable compared with mise-en-scene, sound or lighting. However, what audiences need to notice can also be illustrated by a variety of uniquely cinematic techniques. In my video, I will use some shots and clips in Rebecca and Shawshank Redemption to explain what is cinematography. To start with, I will explain how cinematography is defined. Cinematography includes camera movement and camera position. Camera movement consists of zoom, transparent dolly or crane shots. But today, we will focus more on camera position, which includes the camera angles and distance from the action. Specifically, camera angles consist of high angle and low angle shots. High angle shot means the camera looks at the action from above, and on the contrary, low angle shots refers to the camera looks up at the action. Camera distance helps to show the distance between camera and the human body, from extreme long shot to extreme close up shot. What audiences can see on screen becomes more and more detailed. For instance, long shots range from four figure images of characters as well as a bit of surrounding space. Medium shots show the body from the waist up, and a close up shot presents the entire head, hand, or foot in screen. These two elements of camera position usually work together to convey information. This clip is from Rebecca. When the heroine talks with the maid, the high angle shot is used. The camera and the audiences occupy God's eye view of the action, indicating the relative weakness or inferiority of the on screen heroine. Accompanied with a high angle, the medium shot used here can straightforwardly indicate that the ghost like maid is aggressive and the heroine is feeling embarrassed and constrained. What's worth mentioning is that, for instance, here, the high angle and the long shot just illustrate a sense of freedom and liberation. The function of camera position can be generalized as indicating the power of characters. You need to analyze it in accordance with the context it happens. The theory of cinematography can also be applied in our daily life. In most vlogs, the camera angle is from eye level, and blogger would choose medium or close-up shot, which can create a proper distance between the speaker and audiences, both mentally and visually. That's all from me for now. If you like this video, click like and subscribe our channel, leave your comment, and check out our other videos. Thank you for watching. Bye! Bye!